stop scrolling. There's a meteorite in Panama that's allegedly growing tentacles. Down in Pedrigal, Panama, a guy claimed a silver pitted meteorite fell and hit the earth. He picked it up, and that's where the weird starts really fast. This rock allegedly changes color, supposedly glows at night, and scorches leaves on contact. Under a glass dome, a gelatinous tentacled mass pushes out, pink nub and all, swelling and growing larger over 72 hours with a burnt smell. He keeps upgrading jars and then locks it in the safe eventually, tagging NASA and promising to quote, mail samples. Let's ask Scully. Okay, first let's dive into the meteorite. What characteristics do you see in the videos that do not line up with traditional meteorites? First, there's no visible fusion crust. Real meteorites usually have a kind of melted outer layer from atmospheric entry. Second, you don't see any of the typical red maglips or thumbprint-like indentations that meteorites often have. Instead, it looks more like something organic or artificial that's just sort of growing in a very strange way. And finally, the growth and the tentacle-like structures are definitely not something you'd expect from a rock that fell from space. So all of these things together really suggest it's not a normal meteorite at all. And what about the burning of the leaves? So if this object supposedly burns leaves on contact but doesn't affect human skin or the glass it's under, that's a bit of a red flag. Usually if something is chemically reactive enough to scorch leaves, you'd see some consistent damage to other materials. The fact that it's not universally burning everything it touches makes it seem more like a staged effect or a selective demonstration rather than a truly consistent phenomenon. So that detail just adds another layer of skepticism to the whole story. What percentage do you give it that it's fake? I'd give it about a 98% chance that it's fake or just a staged viral creation. There's maybe a tiny 2% chance that there's something genuinely unknown going on. But overall, I'm pretty confident this is just a creative hoax. So yeah, about 98% in favor of it being staged. I'm not saying that Scully is 100% right all the time, but 98% is pretty damning. This is what frustrates me about this whole community. This video looked great. It gave us hope for just a brief minute that maybe we're not alone in the universe. After digging into this pretty deep and feeling pretty confident enough to make this video that it's fake, it's frustrating. Maybe this is what's wrong with our society, that we care more about clout and clicks and likes than actual facts and truth. I'll link this guy's account so you can look at all the videos for yourself. I'd be lying if I didn't say that this sort of thing makes me extremely frustrated. But it's also a reason why I started the Close Encounter Club, to try to uncover what actually is going on.